Hi, this is Shumi from Overdrive and this is the Husqvarna Nuda 900R. The motorcycle is now available in the country today. We've just finished riding it for our first ride. Uh, there's all the people from the shoot and uh, the story is going to be in the next issue of Overdrive. Watch out for that. So what it is, is a 900cc parallel twin making 105 PS of power. That's a lot of power in this uh, partly super motor, partly street bike, partly dirt bike kind of format. It looks extremely spectacular, especially this, the front mud guard here. Uh, what it's supposed to do is channel air into the radiator right behind it. It reminds me of a bird. I'm just not able to put the name to the bird right now, uh, which has a thing like that on top of its head. It's a nice aggressive looking motorcycle. That's the uh, headlamp. This seems to be a very popular shape right now. If you think about it, this is similar to the shape of a number of motorcycles, including some uh, KTMs. That's the nicely shaped peak. It's in white, so it's burning out a little, so I don't think you can see the details. Let me see well, a little bit more detail has come. Uh, nice upside down folks, look at how much travel there is. It's quite an absorbent motorcycle. I won't say that the ride quality is awesome because in India our roads are much worse than Europe, so it's a little stiff over everything, but eminently acceptable. I loved riding it uh, on the street. I think it's going to make a great thing to take to office every day. Problem being, of course, that people will want to put their hands all over it and therefore probably end up with a few scratch bits, if not a uh, torn seat. Uh, just to carry on with the motorcycle, nice little thin exhaust, sounds very nice and rotty. I'll try and start it up uh, towards the end of this video and show you what that sounds like. Uh, that's the rear end, nice little Olin shop, shop there with uh, Shoka. Uh, nice little Olin shop there with a uh, remote adjuster, the piggyback reservoir, and if you can see the knob on that, that adjusts the suspension. This side is hard, so if I turn it this way, it will become hard. If I turn it that way, it will become softer. Nice little foot pegs with the rubber on the pegs. If you look at it, these are dirt bike pegs. Usually, you can just remove this rubber bit and then it will become like a proper dirt bike in case you want to go off-roading. There is some amount of clearance, so light off-road work is definitely on. And uh, it's a very nice looking motorcycle. This is what dirt bike seats tend to be like. They're flattish and it runs all the way up to the tank nearly. So when you sit on the bike, you're very close to the meters, which look very nice indeed. Let me just switch that on for you. That's what the meters look like. So that's all the telltale lights there. A clean little uh, rev counter and that's the digital speedometer. I think the bike is an awesome motorcycle to own and ride to work daily and it will be good fun on weekends as well, take it around the twisties. And particularly for me, since I'm a stunter, I think the power delivery is just awesome. You just have to whack the throttle open and the front wheel comes up like you can just imagine. <laughs> So that's what the motorcycle sounds like. So ladies and gentlemen, that's the Husqvarna Nuda 900R. Husqvarna may have other motorcycles in the country, the plans are being discussed. The price of this motorcycle currently is about 12 to 14 lakhs, it's being discussed. We hope that Husqvarna and BMW Motorrad are able to bring the prices down because uh, it's a little expensive at 12 to 14 lakhs for a twin cylinder motorcycle, even one that is as nice as this. But uh, that's how it is. And I just forgot to show you this, let me get close up before I sign off. That is the neat looking air vent. This is the front edge of the tank. That's what it looks like. I'll zoom away so you can see the whole of it. There you are, that's it. Beautiful little motorcycle and watch out for the story in the next issue of Overdrive and uh, a first ride on the Overdrive show on CNBC, of course.